And now we will see what is possible when channel is in list mode. You can define up to 256 different output current and voltage with different duration that will be used to set output on each channel and we can define list values using skippy commands or a new waveform editor page when channel is in a list mode. So let's try to see We're still in uh, tracking mode, doesn't matter. Uh, just go with list. Okay. List count default it's one. That defines how much time list will be executed. And let's start uh, with the list. We can say that first value will last one second. Voltage is five. Current it's two amp. Now we can say that another will last 2 seconds for 15 volts, the same current, so I don't need to set it. The next one, 1 second, 20 volts, another 1 second, 25 volts. And now here you can see that you can navigate through the list. But again, it's not just to four, we can go with more. Let's go below one second with 30 volt, another below one second, 20 volt, and once again, 10 volt. And finally, one second and zero volt. Okay. If we are satisfied with the list, it's here. Uh, general settings or source, we can set to immediate. And now We'll see what will happen. And sequence it's finished. Now we can see what's happened if we set the list to five. Okay, once again. So this one is the first. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. Okay. We can easily do something else. For example, I don't want to use this list. Oh, no. Uh, I just want to delete it. And let's go with something much more dynamic. Okay, it's a five and now in the in the trigger I will set initiate continuously, yes, to see how it looks like. You see that five burst and it's waiting for another one. Okay. 
immediate manual mm -hmm. and so on of course we can do the following thing if we just want to repeat it infinitely which I, we can put here infinite so this one it doesn't make sense anymore and it will change it in the loop I can improve resolution to some extent here and you have a nice test pattern for your connected load whatever it is and again can wait and go like this or in the next I just can say that I just want to enable output or I can just set it to fixed that means that list mode it's not present anymore I can go back and list is still here okay and now With Skippy commands we have a convenient way to load a huge list with just one command. And again I will use our Easy Studio. We have a special section for Skippy scripts. And I will now load a sine wave and see how it looks like. It's with 48 points that it's more than enough to have a good approximation of sine wave. And since channels are in tracking mode, we can see both channels is generate sine wave. Okay. And on display, uh, it tried to present output in the best way, but okay, it's still it's too fast for for them. But if we decrease frequency, we can even see it here. Okay, something like this. Or something completely else. Like this. or something much slower the list command can be also used when channels are coupled now we can try to couple it in series okay and 
say list like this, like this five enough twenty five forty eighty. Zero. Okay, and now we have something like this. We can go much faster by changing just one parameters like this and the next trigger start. We can also store a list in uh, some of user profile or just recall from them. For instance, here I have some pre-recorded. Okay. Just to see how it looks like. Or something else just on the first channel like this as you can see defining a list of output values it's very simple by using local editor on the TFT display or by sending that list using skippy commands and this is all for this time thank you once again for your attention and goodbye